everybody and welcome to another episode of the Ovlog and uh, for those of you that follow me on Twitter you may have seen uh, a few weeks ago there was uh, let's say a heated exchange um, over on Twitter uh, regarding Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and this was following a comment that I had made I think I'd quoted some other tweet about um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the the official Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Twitter page had said years and years and years ago like hashtag it's all connected or something like that and it had resurfaced, so I quoted it, and I said something along the lines of um, that the MCU is now multiverse, and because of that, everything is canon, and anything can be canon, and therefore that was kind of in response to the whole argument about whether or not Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. should or shouldn't be considered as canon now. Um, and this got a load of kind of backlash from people who insisted to me that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., has always been canon and would never not be canon um, and arguing that obviously it's been canon right from the word go. Now I've no argument that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was canon when it started um, but certainly when it's finished I'm not so sure because the simple fact of the matter is that the studios that created the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show and the studios that create the Marvel Studios movies fell out with each other. They fell out hard and they basically disregarded one another. So by the time you get to the end of um, season four, I think it was, let me check. <clears throat> uh, yeah, season four. So season four is when you have Ghost Rider and the Dark Hold and all those kinds of things. At the end of that season, um, Enoch turns up and takes the team away, takes them to another basically alternate reality in time in somewhere into the future, um, which is obviously set away from the sacred timeline and all that kind of thing. So it's clearly on a different tangent. It's clearly not following the events of the actual mainstream MCU. So the studios have gone out of their way to kind of make sure that it's actually not connected anymore and that it's telling its own story. So it's kind of like a live action what if series. It's almost like what if um, Coulson had been revived after Avengers Assemble. So for all of the people that were kind of arguing about whether or not Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is canon anymore, the point that I was trying to make is that it doesn't matter. It's a multiverse, and in a multiverse, everything is canon, and anything can be canon. And that's the whole point, is that it's actually trying to kind of settle and, and comfort the stands for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and actually say to them, it, of course it's canon, because everything is. You know, Deadpool, X-Men, all of those things, in a multiverse, there are different strands of time all over the place, and everything can be canon. It doesn't matter. You can have the most outlandish, craziest fanfic ideas, and <clears throat> they'll all be canon because they're all possible. Um, there's no limit to the number of different stories that you can tell. So for some people, though, that just doesn't seem to be enough. They seem to be determined to say that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. must be canon and it has to be canon and all that kind of stuff. Um, they're just not listening to the fact that it's a multiverse, so obviously it can be canon. Um, and the whole idea of it not being canon in the first place comes down to the studios falling out with each other and kind of writing it off. The other part of that story is the fact that over on Disney Plus, Disney completely removed Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and all of the sort of spin-offs like Peggy Carter and all that kind of stuff. Um, they took them away from the uh, sort of timeline series of, of Marvel shows and, and films so that when you go onto Disney Plus and you look for things in chronological order, they do not reference Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the slightest. It's not there. It's almost in the section, Legends section or something like that, so that it's separated out from all of the mainstream stuff. So, you know, I don't know what's a bigger signal to fans other than that um, to actually say that this isn't now part of the mainstream. Now, again, does it really matter? No, because, again, it's a multiverse, and that's the key to all of that. So it's just led to a few things, and uh, interestingly, those are the people that kind of got into these like heated, not even debates, because they wouldn't even listen to, to actually the idea of debating something. They were adamant that they were right. And it's kind of the problem with a lot of Star Wars fans that I've found as well is that they sort of sit there and say, no, I'm just right, I'm just right, and you're just wrong. They don't actually care enough to argue their point and they're not passionate enough to actually discuss it and they're not open-minded enough to have a conversation. They're so closed-minded that they're right and everybody else is wrong and that's just to them a fact. Um, whereas if you actually sit down and discuss it, you can have a look at these different, uh, these different theories and these different ideas. But interestingly, none of the people that were arguing with me about it actually bothered to ask me one simple question, which was, what do I want? And what I want is, yeah, for it to be canon. I think it's a great show. I love the show. Nobody ever actually bothered to ask me whether or not I enjoyed it. And I do. I think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is brilliant. 
I love Coulson. I think he's great. In actual fact, Coulson was probably the best thing in the What If series. He's just a character that whenever he turns up, he just adds a lot of heart and a lot of soul um, in those performances. And uh, it's just uh, a character that I always want to see more of. So I love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think it's brilliant. And yes, I do want it to be canon. And yes, I do consider it canon. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter if I didn't, because as I say, it, the idea that it's now multiverse means that it would be canon whether I wanted it to be or not. Um, it certainly is now, as is everything else. So there we go. It's uh, it's a whole great big debate thing. There's even these huge great big petitions and a great big letter that got sent off to the execs of Marvel Studios from fans demanding that it should be uh, sort of made officially canon again. Um, but I, I just, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think they'll bother with it. Um, one of the things that kind of started all of this off was when uh, WandaVision came out and the Darkhold reappeared. And it was a Darkhold that looked and acted differently from the one that you see in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in Season 4. Uh, the one that Ghost Rider is running around trying to um, to get. So uh, the argument to that is that the Darkhold changes its appearance. It can change its form depending on who's using it and what they're using it for. So the fact that it looks different and, and behaves differently kind of doesn't really matter too much it's more about the fact that when we last see it in shield uh ghost rider's taking it he's taking it through to another dimension um so how does it get from there into uh the, the basement in in wandavision um of agatha so there's just like a missing piece of the story there as to how it could get from one place to the other and initially the fan reaction was well because because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. isn't canon anymore and therefore it doesn't matter because um, it's obviously appearing in, in WandaVision and as far as some of those fans are concerned it's the first time that they're ever actually recognising it officially. Whereas it's entirely possible that Ghost Rider could have had it and taken it to another dimension or wherever he went um, and it's found its way to Agatha from there. It's, uh, it's not impossible, it's just a story that's not been told. Um, so that was kind of the thing that sort of kicked it off really but I think it actually goes back further than that you can actually have a look at when you had Infinity War and not one single member of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. team or any of the characters in the series not one single one um, was snapped uh, by Thanos um, after Infinity War so you do kind of question what, to what extent are these actually connected because some of the characters presumably half of them or at least a couple of them um, would have been blipped they would have gone so you can kind of see the cracks starting to appear in the connectivity between agents of shield and the mainstream mcu as far back as, as infinity war but if you actually look at the show of, of shield itself it's pretty much acknowledged that they're dealing with a multiverse they even talk about it in the season finale i think and uh it's pretty obvious that they never return to the mainstream timeline they suggest that that's where they start if you were to get rid of the idea that it's a what if style series, then um, Coulson is revived uh, after Avengers Assemble by Nick Fury <coughs> um, with Project Tahiti. So, okay, fine, that's that's mainstream, that's in the timeline, and you've got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. running around, uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier happens, and S.H.I.E.L.D. falls, and all that is connected in, it's all tied in. Um, there's bits in uh, Ultron that connect up to it, which is how Nick Fury gets the helicarrier back. It's because Coulson gets it for him. Um, so that's connected up. Civil War is referenced um, as, as, as well uh, as the as the series go on. Um, but then you get to uh, season four where you've got um, Ghost Rider turns up and the Darkhold and all those kinds of things. And it's when you get to the end of that series where Enoch arrives and just takes them off to a completely different time, somewhere into the future, takes them through space and time. And the argument, <coughs> my voice is really, really bad today. The argument is that they never actually return to that timeline. Um, when you get to the very end of the show, they're trying to get back, they're trying to get back to the timeline and they're going through all different pieces of, of time periods in history to get back there. Um, but I don't think they ever actually get back. And the reason why I don't think they ever actually get back is if you watch in the finale as Coulson sort of flies off in uh, in Lola, the uh, backdrop shows you, I think it's the Triskelion in the background, um, which obviously doesn't exist in the mainstream timeline because it gets destroyed in Captain America and the Winter Soldier. So there is clearly a different space and time that they're in um, from the one that we're used to um, in the MCU. So 
you know the, the, the evidence is there for you if you really want anyway so there we go is it canon is it not canon well it doesn't really matter it's a, a multiverse as i say so it's canon as far as that's concerned was it always canon no um it was to start off with definitely um but i think it's pretty obvious that when you get to the end of season four and the studios have fallen out with one another and they're failing to recognize each other uh, it's pretty obvious that they went off on a tangent and did their own thing um Arguably, it wouldn't be canon until the multiverse was opened up, which obviously happens at the end of the Loki series. So there we go. Those just been getting some, some thoughts out there. As I say, it got loads and loads of people really heated up on, on Twitter who just refused to actually have a conversation about it. But there we go. Uh, that's their problem. Um, I consider it to be, be canon, but very loosely. And uh, really, I think that's because of the, the whole multiverse theory. But there we go. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think it's canon? Do you like the show? Let me know. I love it. Let's see what you think. And, uh, and with that said, we're all done. And I'll see you guys real soon.